Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, I'm going to be reviewing the Shao Gongs VST. I went back and forth a lot about what to rank this one. And obviously, for each plugin, I rate it 0 to 5, obviously 5 being the best. Originally, I think I'd give this one a 3 out of 5, but... Because when it comes to Gong VSTs, especially a free one, I don't really see a lot of them. I think this is one of the only few ones I've ever seen. And in addition, it's like a Gong is a pretty simple thing. So it's kind of hard to make a super complex VST. So I'm going to rank this one a 3.75 out of 5. That's my official rating. This is hands on the best free Gong VST I've seen on the internet. So let's jump into it. So obviously, this is the GUI or the graphical user interface. And this is made by BC Alan Vista. Basically, he's made um, other, you know, uh, VSTs and plugins. And I reviewed some of his other ones. Now, when it comes to this plugin, you basically have four different gongs. And what's cool is it basically has the keys right here. So you have C, D, E, and F. So what I'm going to do to kick this off is obviously I just wrote these in MIDI. I'm going to shut up, hit play so you can hear how each one sounds. Right, so very, very different sounds for each one, which is obviously excellent. You know, so depending on what you want for your track, this is definitely a great choice. You're gonna have four different ones. Uh, next about the GUI, in case you didn't notice, I really like that when you click each one, it's not just a static picture, it's a dynamic picture. So when I click it, if you notice, the actual gong moves. Same with that one, same with this one. So that's just kind of like a cool little feature. I like how they did that. Now, going on to the exact features of this, first off, you have the master volume, pretty self-explanatory. Then you have the dynamic range. What, what this means, essentially, is if you notice, when I have the velocity here, I can adjust it. Now, velocity is the intensity that a note is played at. So, for example, I use this example all the time. Let's say I have a saxophone, and I go, G on the saxophone, right? I can't sing, but pretend like I'm playing a G on a saxophone. And then, let's say... I hold G again on the saxophone, and I go, <gasps> and I blow it super hard. I really push that note. Well, obviously, the second note is going to be louder than the first note, right? But if I were to turn it down and play both notes the exact same volume, you notice that the dynamics, the elements, just the whole note in general on the second G is very different, right? Because I'm making the intensity of that note a lot more just aggressive, right? By playing it super hard. Same thing with this, which is kind of cool, is I can adjust the dynamic range. So if I turn these all the way up... I'll just use the, uh, the C as an example. You notice it sounds like that. Now, if I turn it down and I adjust the dynamic range here, just, you know, however I want, I can leave it. Now, you don't even hear anything, basically. But if I turn up just a little bit, you notice that it's almost like instead of hitting the gong like, psh, like that super hard, right, with this all the way turned up, I can just go boom, right? So what's kind of cool is if you want to have the element in your effect of the huge gong smash, you can do that. If you want to adjust the dynamic range, obviously I turn this up all the way so that way I can really adjust the dynamic range as much as I want. But let's say if I wanted to have some where I'm like, you know what? I don't want it super hard, but I just want it kind of like a, right? If you want to do like a roll, right? We do something like this, right? Something like that. You just kind of do like a little roll. You can easily do that without it being the super big hit. So I think adjusting the dynamic range, especially on percussive instruments, I mean, this is true for any instrument. But especially on percussive instruments, especially one like a gong where it's usually one big hit or multiple hits, it's very good that there's almost like, you know, numerous different sounds, even for just like the C3 gong, right? If that makes sense. Now, in addition, you basically have the release right here. You have the pan phone do left or right. I can adjust that. And then lastly, you have the volume. So obviously I can do this. You can barely even hear it, actually. So I mean, actually, no, I was doing that. Right? So if you want to do like, let's say a little fade in, you can easily do that. So, overall, that's like the main plugin in a nutshell. That's why when it came to rating this one, I was originally going to do a 3 out of 5. But I'm like, you know what? There's not a lot of gong plugins out there. And this one, it's like, it does what it needs to, right? That's a great GUI, right? You have the dynamic range, the master volume. You have volume, release, and pan for each one. The pitches are dynamic. There's four different options depending on what gong sound you want. How can you be that? How can you be that? So definitely check it out. I've obviously listed below in the description for the free download. And I will say this too. On all my uh, free plugin reviews and all, you know, these videos, all the free downloads are all listed below in the description. Make sure you check them out. But obviously, especially when it comes to a gong sound, if you're looking for that sound, those type of samples in your track, it's free. So you can't go wrong with chow gongs.